With terrifying speed, an avalanche can rumble down a mountain slope, burying everything in its path under a lethal blanket of snow. Each year, about 150 people in Europe and North America die from avalanches. Large ones can wipe out forests and erase mountain villages. Avalanches come in many forms. Some, called slough, consist of sliding loose snow. Others, called slab avalanches, occur when large sections of the snowpack crack off and crash down the slope. As snow falls, it builds up layer upon layer. With enough time, the layers will harden and bond to one another. But when layers form weak bonds, any new snow falls on an unstable foundation and waits for the right trigger. Avalanches are caused by sudden changes, a heavy snowfall, strong winds, or a rapid change in temperature. The shape and angle of the slope are important factors. Slopes over 60 degrees are usually too steep. Slopes under 25 degrees are too gentle. The danger zone comes between 30 and 45 degrees, just where people like to ski and sled. 90% of avalanche victims die because they or someone with them accidentally trigger an avalanche. Contrary to popular opinion, loud noises like yelling won't trigger an avalanche. In most cases, it's the sudden weight of a skier or snowmobiler that makes the surface unstable. Then the avalanche descends at speeds up to 80 miles an hour. As winter sports become more popular, avalanches pose more of a threat. Ski patrols now monitor popular slopes to prevent avalanches from ever happening. Cannons fire explosives that slam into snowbanks to trigger small avalanches before the buildup becomes a problem. Search and rescue teams practice locating and digging out people trapped underneath the snow. But ultimately, it's up to every person to watch out when they're on the slopes. So pay attention to the weather, look for warning signs, learn what to do in an emergency, because everything can change in just a few seconds.